What's up, Yes Gamers? Robert the Bruce here, and today I want to cover some of the details that have been released on Star Wars Battlefront, which is set to drop on November 17th. I'm super pumped about this game because it's basically Battlefield meets Star Wars, and those are two things I love. Now let's go ahead and dive into some juicy details about the game. Now, similar to Battlefield, players will be able to go to war as a foot soldier in ground vehicles, or they can take to the skies as well. Huge AT-ATs, speeder bikes, TIE fighters, you name it. These iconic Star Wars vehicles will now be at your fingertips. In addition to this, like you see in various parts of this gameplay trailer released, movie characters will also be available for players to control for a short period of time. Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and Bubba Fett are already confirmed as being playable. And when a player is able to find a special in-game pickup for one of these famous characters, they will become that person for a short time. Your health will constantly decrease, but you can increase your time as that character by taking out more bad guys. Aha! Now in theory, this means someone could take over as Darth Vader, for example, and then just totally dominate most of, if not the whole match. But this is extremely unlikely. Either way, it's super cool that you'll be able to temporarily run around using the Force and rallying your teammates with your additional abilities. Definitely going to see some cool gameplay moments arise out of this feature. Now something also worth mentioning is the ability to switch between first person and third person modes. Most FPS games like Battlefield and Call of Duty, they only allow first person play while you're a ground soldier, but in Star Wars Battlefront, you'll be able to switch to third person at any time. Now to anyone who's played games like this before, one of our first thoughts is that we would be using this to manipulate the camera and see around corners in third person mode, without actually having our characters stick out at all. Now we'll see once the beta drops if this is possible, but either way, it's cool to have the option to go back and forth. Now speaking of beta, DICE has announced the beta will be releasing in early October, so we're just a few short weeks away from getting some serious playtime with this game. Now, I'm always a fan of big battles, and Battlefront is set to deliver with some game modes featuring 40 players, but some smaller game modes as well, going down as low as 8 versus 8. The game modes released so far have me intrigued, so I'm really excited to see how they pan out. There's a deluxe edition that gives players a few custom in-game emotes, as well as access to some in-game weaponry without having to unlock it. Pre-ordering either Standard or Deluxe will give one week early access to the free DLC coming in December. Now it's worth noting that I did say free there, and in a world where we gamers are nickel and dimed every step of the way, I do think it's cool that they've already announced their first DLC will be totally free for everybody. Now the main complaint I've heard about Battlefront is that it looks like a reskinned Battlefield. Well, I'd agree with you, but I actually think that's a positive. Battlefield 4 has been around for years now, and it has the kinks worked out. It runs really well for me, it has for a long time. And that tells me that Battlefront will be able to hit the ground running with far fewer bugs than many games release with these days. Now, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, well, I completely understand you're probably not that interested in this game. But the Star Wars fan base is massive, and even if you're not a crazy super fan, but you did think the movies were cool, well, I think Battlefront could very well appeal to you. Now, you're planning on picking it up. Are you planning to skip it and go in a completely different gaming direction, or are you super stoked to hop into an AT-AT -AT and deal out massive destruction? Hit me up in the comments below with your thoughts, and as always, I'll see you on the battlefield.